A world-class power plant in Africa easily flattened a 50-year-old mountain of garbage. It was built by China. In Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, a highly innovative power plant quietly stands. This not only marks a great progress in the city's environmental protection, but also radiates and drives the ecological revolution throughout Africa. The Lebi Garbage Power Plant, built with Chinese assistance, consumes 1,280 tons of garbage every day with its exquisite design and construction skills. This city scavenger shoulders the heavy responsibility of improving the lives and environment of local residents and has become a global model of green engineering. Let's take a closer look in this video. Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, as a prosperous city with a population of 4 million, has long been trapped in the dilemma of a garbage siege. Up to 300,000 tons of garbage are generated each year, and this number is increasing at an annual rate of 8%. Citizens once had to live with the 30-meter-high garbage mountain, Piazza, and their lives were shrouded in the threat of stench and landslides. A landslide accident in 2017 claimed the lives of more than 40 people, and the tragedy was shocking. The nearly saturated landfill has not only become the bane of the city, but also caused serious damage to the natural environment of Addis Ababa. Especially in the rainy season, untreated sewage mixed with toxic substances flows into the river, endangering the water source on which residents depend for survival. Some residents even burn garbage on the garbage mountain for heating and cooking. Incomplete combustion produces a large amount of toxic gases, which seriously pollutes the surrounding air environment. Therefore, this garbage mountain is not only a physical obstacle, but also a threat to public health. The Ethiopian government realized the seriousness of this problem and decided to invest $100 million to build a waste-to-energy plant in cooperation with China National Electric Power Engineering Company, Limited. The heat energy generated by garbage is converted into electricity to provide a stable and reliable power supply for the city while also achieving the goal of harmless, reduced and resourceful garbage. This garbage power plant started construction in 2014 and was completed in 2017. It is the first green and low-carbon demonstration power plant built by China in countries along the Belt and Road. The completion of this garbage power plant not only brought economic and social benefits to Ethiopia, but also provided an example and inspiration for other African countries, allowing them to see new ways and possibilities for garbage disposal. Neighboring countries such as Egypt, Kenya, and Ghana have expressed great interest in this project, hoping to cooperate with Chinese companies, share China's technology and experience, and jointly promote green development in Africa. So how does this garbage power plant work? How has it changed the lives and environment of local people? How does it demonstrate the friendly cooperation and win-win development between China and Africa? The operating principle of a garbage power plant is actually very simple, which is to use the heat energy generated by garbage to convert it into electrical energy. Specifically, the garbage is sorted, compressed, crushed, and then sent to the furnace for high-temperature incineration to generate high-temperature and high-pressure steam to drive the steam turbine to generate electricity. Finally, the remaining flue gas and ash are purified to meet the emission standards. In this process, the garbage power plant uses advanced technology and equipment to ensure safe, stable and efficient operation. For example, the garbage power plant uses a circulating fluidized bed boiler, 
which can adapt to garbage of different types and water content, improve combustion efficiency, and reduce pollutant emissions. The garbage power plant uses flue gas purification technologies such as semi-dry desulfurization, bag dust removal, and activated carbon adsorption, which can effectively remove harmful substances such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, dust, and heavy metals, and protect the atmospheric environment. The garbage power plant uses ash treatment technologies such as magnetic separation, water washing, and crushing, which can recycle metals such as iron and aluminum and reduce the generation of waste. Through this operating principle, the garbage power plant can convert garbage into valuable energy and provide clean electricity for the city, while also achieving the goal of harmless, reduced and resourceful garbage. So, how is the operation effect of this garbage power plant? What changes has it brought to the lives and environment of local people? The Chinese expert team introduced advanced garbage incineration power generation technology and officially started the construction of Lebi Garbage Power Plant in 2014. After three years of intensive construction, this modern garbage treatment facility covering an area of 20 hectares was put into operation in 2017, showing amazing environmental protection efficiency. The Leiby Garbage Power Plant adopts the most advanced incineration technology in the world, with an incineration temperature of 8501100 degrees Celsius, which is much higher than the traditional 400 degrees, ensuring the effective decomposition of toxic substances. The power plant is also equipped with a world-class flue gas purification system. Through multiple treatments, the emissions meet European environmental standards and completely avoid secondary pollution. In the treatment of incineration residues, the residual ash can be used for building material recycling or direct landfill after harmless treatment. In addition to efficient waste gas treatment, the power plant also strictly treats the liquid filtrate generated during the incineration process. After multi-stage treatment, the filtrate reaches class 3 water standards and can be safely used for agricultural irrigation and industrial purposes. Such strict environmental protection measures make the power plant not only a garbage disposal station, but also a pioneer in environmental protection. The power plant was initially designed to process 1,280 tons of garbage, but after actual operation, the daily processing volume is close to 1,800 tons, far exceeding the expected target. At the same time, the power plant can generate up to 185 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year, allowing one-third of households in Addis Ababa to use clean electricity. These figures not only witness China's outstanding achievements in the field of environmental protection technology, but also open a new chapter in Ethiopia's cooperation with other developing countries. The construction and operation of the Lebi Waste to Energy Plant has completely changed the urban appearance of Addis Ababa. The huge Piazza garbage mountain has gradually disappeared, replaced by a brand new flat land. Residents have bid farewell to the threat of stench and landslides, and the city's water sources and land are no longer polluted. What is more gratifying is that the operation of the waste to energy plant has prevented children from being poisoned, and the health level of the entire community has been significantly improved. The success of the Levy Waste to Energy Plant is not only a technical victory, but also a model of a new type of cooperative relationship. Compared with Western countries' pursuit of maximum resource utilization in Africa, China focuses on providing public products and environmental protection cooperation. Through technical assistance and capacity building, 
China has helped Ethiopia establish its own environmental protection energy project, demonstrating the responsibility of a responsible major country. Waste incineration power generation has been very popular in Western countries, but it is difficult in developing countries such as Africa. The high construction cost and technical barriers make it difficult for many countries to implement this advanced environmental protection solution. China just fills this gap and helps African countries embark on the path of environmentally friendly and sustainable development through aid and technology transfer. The Lebi Waste to Energy Plant is a successful example of this strategy. From environmental improvement to residents' health, the significance of the Lebi Waste to Energy Plant is immeasurable. Addis Ababa no longer has to endure the problem of being surrounded by garbage, and the government has saved a lot of fiscal budget due to the significant reduction in medical expenses. This saved money can not only be used for more public service projects, but also improve the quality of life of citizens in a more comprehensive way. The friendship between China and Africa is not only reflected in the successful operation of the waste power plant, but also in the deep understanding and trust between the two sides. Since the 1950s, China has always supported the national independence and autonomy of African countries. Entering the new century, the cooperation between the two sides has become closer and China has become Africa's largest trading partner and source of investment. Not only that, China's investment scope in Africa has also been expanding. From infrastructure construction to industrialization process to people's livelihood improvement, China's every step is solid and powerful. Taking the Lebi Waste Power Plant as an example, the assistance of environmental protection technology has helped Addis Ababa get out of the environmental dilemma and achieved a dual improvement in economy and ecology. And this cooperation model has also set an example for more China-Africa cooperation projects in the future. In the future, it is foreseeable that China will continue to increase its investment in Africa especially in the field of environmental protection. By providing advanced technology and equipment, China will help more African countries change the face of the environment and embark on the road of sustainable development. This cooperation not only brings economic benefits, but also is a true portrayal of working together, showing a new model of cooperation between big and small countries. In short, the rise of the Leipzig Waste to Energy Plant is not only a masterpiece of the integration of technology and environmental protection, but also a symbol of friendship between China and Africa. In the future, this power plant will not only continue to shoulder the heavy responsibility of waste disposal, but will also become a new benchmark for friendly cooperation between the two countries, leading more developing countries onto the glorious road of green development. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.